Larger block sizes mean greater security while all other things being equal but reduced encryption. All the encryption speed for a given algorithm. The greater security is achieved by greater diffusion. Traditionally, a block size of 64 bits has been considered a reasonable trade-off and was nearly universal in block. Some for design. However, the new AES uses a 128-bit block size. Key size, larger key size means greater security, but may decrease encryption, decryption speed. The greater security is achieved by greater resistance to brute force attacks and greater confusion. Key sizes of 64 bits or less are now widely considered to be inadequate, and 128 bits has become a common size. Number of rounds. The essence of the Feistel cipher is that a single round offers inadequate security, but that multiple rounds offer increasing security. A typical size is 16 rounds. Subkey generation algorithm. Greater complexity in this algorithm should lead to greater difficulty of grit analysis. Round function F. Again, greater complexity generally means greater resistance to crypt analysis. Substitution. Each plane text element or group of elements is uniquely replaced by a corresponding cipher text. Element or group of elements. Permutation, a sequence of plain text elements is replaced by a permutation of the sequence. That is, no elements are added or deleted or replaced in the sequence. Rather, the order in which the elements appear in the sequence is changed. Hence, Feistel structure by combining substitution and permutation to provide the security principles of confusion and diffusion. Cipher encryption. The structure basically contains multiple rounds with ordered subkeys. The input is generally split into two parts, right hand side and left hand side. The right hand side is transformed by a round function f in each round, before being combined with the left hand side using an XOR operation. The left and right hand sides are switched after each round to obtain the input to the next round. Consider a 64-bit block cipher being used. The block cipher is split into two parts, each side containing 32 bits. The 32-bit right-hand side is encrypted by a round function f, followed with combining with the left-hand side using an XOR operation. Both 32-bit sides are then swapped, becoming the new input for the next round of cycle. 